Hare Krishna, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhatta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhatta Vrinda, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaura Bhatta Vrinda. We continue reading from Chaitanya Charitamrita Adi Lila, Chapter 10, Text 156. Bara haile nila chale gela prabura sthane ashta masa rahila bhiksha dena kona dene. Translation by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swamishla Prabhupada. When Raghunath grew to be a young man, he visited Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Jagannath Puri and stayed there for eight months. Sometimes he offered prasada to the Lord. So this is Raghunath Das, uh, Raghunath Bhatta. This is Raghunath Bhatt. He's the son of Tapan Mishra of Varanasi. And later Raghunath Bhatt becomes one of the six Goswamis of Vrindavan. Prabhura Agyapana Vrindavane Re Aila Ashiya Sri Rupa Gosani Ranikate Rahila. Later, by the order of Lord Chaitanya, Raghunath went to Vrindavan and remained there under the shelter of Srila Rupa Goswami. So, Raghunath Bhatt was told by Lord Chaitanya, you go to Vrindavan and you take shelter of Rupa Goswami there. Tanrasthane Rupa Gosai Shunena Bhagavata Prabhura Kripaya Tenho Krishna Preme Mata. While he stayed with Srila Rupa Goswami, his engagement was to recite Srimad Bhagavatam for him to hear. As a result of this Bhagavatam recitation, he attained perfectional love of Krishna, by which he remained always maddened. So Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, he could recite Srimad Bhagavatam very, very melodiously in different, different meters. Not only one meter, he could, the, the, the way Bhagavatam verses are spoken is called a meter. So he could speak it in, I think, three or more meters each verse. And it was so melodious. And that's how he he would engage everyone in the in the in the nectar of Srimad Bhagavatam. Raghunath Bhattacharya or Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, one of the six Goswamis, was the son of Tapan Mishra, born in approximately 1425 Shakam, AD 1503. So now we are in 2022. So Raghunath Bhatta Goswami was born in 1503, not, not very long ago. He was expert in reciting Srimad Bhagavatam. And in Antya Leela, chapter 13, it is stated that he was also expert in cooking. Whatever he cooked would be nectarian. So not only was he expert in reciting Srimad Bhagavatam, but also cooking. His cooking tasted like nectar, like amrit. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was greatly pleased to accept the food that he cooked. And Raghunath Bhatt used to take the remnants of food of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he would cook for Lord Chaitanya also, Raghunath Bhatt. Raghunath Bhattacharya lived for eight months in Jagannath Puri, after which Lord Chaitanya ordered him to go to Vrindavan to join Sri Rupa Goswami. So from Varanasi, Raghunath Bhatta came to Jagannath Puri. He stayed with Lord Chaitanya for eight months. After that, Lord Chaitanya told him, you go to Vrindavan. You take shelter of Rupa Goswami there. You go there. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked Raghunath Bhattacharya not to marry, but to remain a brahmachari. And he also ordered him to read Srimad Bhagavatam constantly. So this was the instruction personal instruction uh, of Raghunath Bhattacharya that he received from Lord Chaitanya. Remain a brahmachari and constantly read Srimad Bhagavata. Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya. Thus he went to Vrindavan where he engaged in reciting Srimad Bhagavatam to Sri Rupa Goswami. He was so expert in reciting Srimad Bhagavatam that he would recite each and every verse in three melodious tune, tunes. 
Yeah, you know, he was so expert. Bhagavatam, the verses are, are very nectarian if someone really knows how to chant them. And so Raghunath Bhatta was chanting in three different melodious tunes while Raghunath Bhatta Goswami was living with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. The Lord blessed him by offering him betel nuts offered to the Jagannath deity and a garland of tulsi said to be as long as 14 cubits. So Raghunath Bhatta was with Lord Chaitanya for eight months in Jagannath Puri. And at that time, uh, Lord Chaitanya gave him uh, betel nuts, which were offered to Jagannath Ji, to the Jagannath deity in the Jagannath temple. And he also gave him a tulsi garland, which was very long, 14 cubits. I'm not sure exactly if in inches or centimeters, how, how do you calculate? I don't know. But this is a garland, tulsi garland of 14 cubits. Under Raghunath Bhatta Goswami's order, one of his disciples constructed the Govinda temple. Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. So, uh, the Govinda temple, the Govinda temple is made, constructed by one of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami's disciples. Raghunath Bhatta Goswami supplied all the ornaments of the Govinda deity. He never talked of nonsense or worldly matters but always engaged in hearing about Krishna 24 hours a day. This is Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. Only talking Krishna Katha, nothing else. He never cared to hear blasphemy of a Vaishnava. Even when there were points to be criticized, he used to say that since all the Vaishnavas were engaged in the service of the Lord, he did not mind their faults. So this is the exalted position of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. Even though there were faults that could be easily seen, he would not consider them, saying that everyone is engaged in the service of Krishna. Later, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami lived by Radha Kund in a small cottage. In the Gorgona Desh Tapika, it is said that Raghunath Bhatta Goswami was formerly the gopi named Raga Manjari. So in Krishna Leela, there is a gopi by the name of Raga Manjari. And this same gopi, Raga Manjari, has come in Chaitanya Leela as Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. So Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, um, very, very exalted uh, associate of Lord Chaitanya. Imatash. Shankyatita Chaitanya Bhaktagana Din Matra Liki Samyakna Yaya Kathana. I list in this way only a portion of the innumerable devotees of Lord Chaitanya. To describe them all fully is not possible. Ekaike Shakate Lagi Koti Koti Dala Tara Shishya Upashishya Tara Upadala. From each branch of the tree have grown hundreds and thousands of sub-branches of disciples and grand disciples. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, the author of Chaitanya Charitamrita, is saying, I've just named a few of the devotees. Otherwise, there are thousands and thousands of devotees. It was the desire of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that his cult be spread all over the world. That's what Lord Chaitanya said, that in every town and village, the name of Krishna will be chanted. And we can practically see that even in very remote parts of the world. We cannot even imagine like a tiny village and like far, far away. You can hear, see a devotee of Krishna. And really then we understand that Lord Chaitanya's prediction has come true. His desire is true. Therefore, there is great necessity for many, many disciples of the branches of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's disciplic succession. And of course, to spread the cult of Krishna consciousness outside India, the credit goes to Srila Prabhupada. He, without considering his personal health or anything, he continuously 
traveled all over the world, giving Krishna consciousness to everyone. This cult should be spread not only in a few villages or in Bengal or in India, but all over the world. It is very regrettable that complacent so-called devotees criticize the members of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness for accepting sannyas and spreading the cult of Lord Chaitanya all over the world. It is not our business to criticize anyone. But because they try to find fault with this movement, the real truth must be stated. Because Shla Prabhupada, he was, uh, he faced a lot of criticism, a lot of pressure from, from caste Goswamis, for example, from devotees who are just born in families of Brahmanas, but not qualified to be. And so Prabhupada faced a lot of criticism that he was giving sannyas to Westerners, he was giving Brahmanical initiation to Westerners, but Shla Prabhupada was, I'm just following the scriptures, the scriptures say you can do that. And that's the desire of Lord Chaitanya. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted devotees all over the world and Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur confirmed this. So it is Lord Chaitanya's desire that uh, Hare Krishna mantra be chanted everywhere. This is the compassion of Lord Chaitanya. This is the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. Otherwise, who are we to even chant the holy name? Who are we to be able to chant the Hare Krishna mantra? But by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya, we are able to do it. And so we should grab hold tightly onto the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya and chant the, the Maha Mantra. It is in pursuit of their will that the ISKCON movement is spreading all over the world. And we can see the, this movement is spreading more and more, more and more in India, Malaysia, so many different countries, more and more temples coming up, more and more devotees joining in. Genuine devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu must take pride in the spread of the Krishna consciousness movement instead of viciously criticizing its propaganda work. So reading on Sakala Bariya Ache Prema Fula Fale Bhasaila Trijagat Krishna Prema Jale Every branch and sub-branch of the tree is full of innumerable fruits and flowers. They inundate the world with the waters of love of Krishna. So the devotees, the, the, the devotees have more devotees, more devotees, and there's everyone is spreading love of Krishna to everyone, each and every one. Eka eka sakhar shakti ananta mahima sahasha vadane yaridite narasima. Each and every branch of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotees has unlimited spiritual power and glory. Even if one had thousands of mounts, it would be impossible to describe the limits of their activities. So the pure devotee of the Lord, they have they are personally empowered by the Lord. So they have, they can perform miraculous tasks. Like we are reading about Dhruv Maharaj. Dhruv Maharaj, what happened is just by, because he was doing austerity, he could close the breathing of the entire universe. The earth was trembling. He pushed down the earth. He got so much power. Just five-year-old five, year, five year old boy. So this is the spiritual power which is given by the Lord to his devotees. Sankshepe kahila ma prabhura bhakta dana samagra balite nare sahasra vadana. I have briefly described the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in different places. Even Lord Shesha, who has thousands of mouths, could not list them all. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is saying, I've just listed a few devotees because the devotees of Lord Chaitanya are countless, numberless. What about me, he's saying? Even Ananta Shesha. Ananta Shesha has thousands of mouths. Even he cannot enlist them, so who am I? 
to be able to list all of them. So going, going, which shows that Lord Chaitanya's mercy was spreading far and wide and he was giving love of Krishna to everyone and they were in turn giving love of Krishna to everyone else. Shri Rupa Raghunath Pade Yara Asha Chaitanya Charita Amita Kahe Krishna Dasa Praying at the lotus feet of Shri Rupa and Shri Raghunath Always desiring the mercy I Krishna Das Narayat Shri Chaitanya Charita Amita Following in the footsteps Thus and the Bhaktivedanta purports to Shri Chaitanya Charita Amrita Adi Lila 10th chapter in the matter of the main trunk of the Chaitanya tree its branches and its sub-branches are there any questions or comments? No, they will continue reading. Chapter 11, the expansions of Lord Nityananda. As the branches and sub-branches of Lord Chait Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were described in the 10th chapter, in this 11th chapter, the branches and sub-branches of Sri Nityananda Prabhu are similarly listed. Nityananda pad, padam boja bringan prema madun madan natva kilante shu mukya likyante katichin maya. After offering my obeisances unto all the devotees of Sri Nityananda Prabhu, who are like bumblebees collecting honey from his lotus feet, I shall try to describe those who are the most prominent. So, in this chapter, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is enlisting some of the followers of Lord Nityananda. Jaya Jaya Mahaprabhu Shri Krishna Chaitanya Tanraj Charana Shrita Ye Se Dhanya All glories to Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anyone who has taken shelter at his lotus feet is glorious. So Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is saying you know, we all want to become glorious. Now, how to become glorious? Take shelter of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And in this way, you can become glorious. No need any other qualification. No need to do anything else. Just take shelter at the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jaya Jaya Sri Advaita, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Jaya Mahaprabhu Sarva Bhakta Vrinda. All glories to Sri Advaita Prabhu, Nityananda Prabhu and all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Tasya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Satprema Mara Shakina Urdhvaskandha Vadhu Tendo Shaka Rupan Ganan Numa Shri Nityananda Prabhu is the topmost branch of the indestructible tree of eternal love of Godhead Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I offer my respectful obeisances to all the sub branches of that topmost branch. So we were reading of the branches of Lord Chaitanya, and now we are hearing that of all the branches, Lord Nityananda is the topmost branch of the indestructible tree of eternal love of Godhead, Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Eternal love of God. So Lord Nityananda is freely giving Krishna Prema to one and all. Anyone who is taking shelter of him, Lord Nityananda is readily giving that Krishna Prema. Sri Nityananda Rikshera Skanda Gurutara Tahate Janmila Shaka Prashaka Vistara. Sri Nityananda Prabhu is an extremely heavy branch of the Sri Chaitanya tree. From that branch grow many branches and sub-branches. So Lord Nityananda was giving mercy to anyone, everyone, and that's how he has so many followers. He's giving love of Krishna to so many people. That's why it's saying that his branch is so heavy, extremely heavy. And then he's giving Krishna Prema to so many. And then his followers are also becoming leaders. And they, in turn, are giving Krishna consciousness to so many others. 
माला करे रा इच्छा जले बरे शाखा गना प्रेम फुला फले बरे छायला बोवना वाटर्ड बाय द डिजायर ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु दीज ब्रांचेस एंड सब ब्रांचेस हैव ग्रोन अनलिमिटेडली एंड कवर्ड द एंटायर वर्ल्ड विद फ्रूट्स एंड फ्लावर्स सो इट्स द डिजायर ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य it's lord chaitanya's desire that the whole world be inundated with krishna prema that that's the compassion of lord chaitanya he's called mahavadanya the most munificent incarnation of krishna he's openly giving the most rare most valuable jewel that we can get that is love of krishna and lord chaitanya is making it so easily available to each and every one of us असंख्या अनंत गने के करु गणना अपना शोधित कही मुख्य मुख्य जन दीज ब्रांचेस एंड सब ब्रांचेस ऑफ डिवोटीज आर इनुमरेबल एंड अनलिमिटेड हु कुड काउंट दैम फॉर माय पर्सनल प्योरिफिकेशन आई शुड ट्राई टू एनुमरेट ओनली द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट अमंग देम so krishna das kaviraj ko swami singh they are innumerable followers of lord nityananda i can't but i'm writing this for my own purification one should not write books or essays on transcendental subject matter for material name fame or profit so this the, this is the intention of a pure devotee what is he saying the pure devotee does not want fame name fame or make money out of his writings transcendental literature must be written under the direction of a superior authority because it is not meant for material purposes so if someone really takes up writing of a spiritual book it has to be done under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual authority it, it has to be in the disciplic succession if one tries to write under superior authority he becomes purified all krishna conscious activities should be undertaken for personal purification apana shodite not for material gain so propad is pointing out that we should engage in krishna consciousness for our purification understanding that right now i am materially covered i need to get purified so let me engage in krishna conscious activities not that oh i will get famous i will get um money or i will get worship you know, or different things so it should be for our own personal purification so bit wrong so shall we stop here for today okay So oh, thank you so much for listening and enjoying it. Chaitanya Charita Mita ki jai Shri Prabhupada ki jai Gaur Bhakta Vrinda ki jai Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.